Don't worship created things, son. Worship the creator who's better. Who gets more credit baking a cake? The cake? Oh, great job, cake, coming into existence. You're such an amazing, profound cake. I think I'll worship you. Oh, you're not worthy. That's asinine. Give credit to the baker who made the cake, right? Living with us as parents should be like God, 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 all day long in 10,000 different ways. Pointing them to the beauty of God and the infallibility or the fallibility of man. The problem is why this is so discouraging for some of you right now is that you don't see wonder when you look around. You see busy schedule. You see laundry that's not done. You see bills that aren't paid. You see weeds that are growing in your neighbor's lawn. <laughs> that's my lawn probably. <laughs> and so maybe the single greatest thing you could do as a parent towards fulfilling the purpose of which God gave you to parent is to get alone with God and get back some of the wonder. Get back some of the awe of who God is and what he's done. Oh yeah, he's the creator of the universe. Just speaks quasars into existence. Okay, right. Forgot that. Sorry I was stressing about my flat tire. He's in control. He's sovereign. He's good. He's loving. He's kind. He's patient. He's merciful. He could rightly smote me from the planet for my sin and rebellion against him, but he hasn't. Rather, he's extended love and grace and mercy to me through the person of Jesus, winning for me what I could not have won on my own, namely righteousness that allows me to enter into his presence and enjoy him forever. Right. Right. 